Hiya folks, this is Jamie from Randomized User, and we're playing the full release of Sunless Skies after all this time in early access. This is the sequel to Sunless Sea from a few years ago now, uh, and this game is all really rather wonderful. It's very similar, I mean, it is similar along the same lines as Sunless Sea, and you've got a lot to explore, a lot of trading to be done, and a, like a, a random, procedurally generated map so that um, the, the game is never the same twice. That guy is really not doing very well. Right, got him. Let's, um, let's get his remains. Right, so it is a very kind of narrative heavy game. There's a lot of reading to be done. I mean, in this let's, because it's a let's play, I won't do all the reading. I'll just do the necessary stuff. But it is something to really get absorbed in. I mean, it's incredibly well written. I've been mean, playing this quite a bit in early access. I've done a few videos on this as well. You may have seen them when the game looked a lot emptier than it does now. It's been completely like, well, yeah, because it's early access and everything. They've been working on it, and now it looks absolutely beautiful and wonderful. Uh, and yes, I've just um, got 35 quid out of the wreckage of that prick. So while there is a bit of like um, action, combat and stuff like that, which we've just seen, a lot of it is kind of like um, patient exploration. And also trading and reading stories and various other things like that. Um, all set on this particular map. Unlike Sunless Sea, it is more of a, like a, um, uh, a, a 2D, well, 3D, whatever you want to call it. It's... it's Instead of like from left to right, like Sunless Sea was, it's kind of like all around here. Um, starting from the centre, and then you go out and, and explore in various different directions. And there were also, I mean, this is just one of four regions as well. Uh, there's the Reach, Eutheria, <laughs> the Blue Kingdom, the most recent one, and Albion. All of different sizes. Uh, this is um, the one where which, which features London at its core. Right, so let's get to New Winchester Port and really start the story. Uh, which so far um, has basically entailed us coming back from the Blue Kingdom and we're all beaten up. Our engine, our uh, sort of like um, spaceship engine here, is all be beaten up and broken, although we have done some repairs now. Uh, our captain, Captain Whitlock, has um, been mortally wounded though, and there's all sorts of scenes. So we're coming into port now, got a lot of experience there, and let's do a bit of docking action. Arrival in New Winchester. You coast into the bustle, the din, the soot and the steam of Wolvesley Station. It is clogged with their engines. Of scrappy mining locomotives from Lustrum Way. Weathered explorers gleaming with frost. Sleek company vessels with bright brass fittings. No sooner have you pulled into the sidings and a brusque station master bustles over. He requests to come aboard. I must speak with your captain. Uh-oh. Uh, the doctor has just appeared at your shoulder. His face is solemn. His hat is in his hands. He lowers his eyes. The crew exchange bleak, exchange bleak, wordless looks. The Orphean itself feels suddenly more empty. The station master looks confused. You inform him that unfortunately Captain Whitlock has just passed. Um, so, um, ah, if Captain Whitlock is deceased, the station authority require their answers from the first officer. Oh, me, me, me. That's me. Right. Shall we begin? We shall begin. Right. Now we're going to decide who I am. Uh, so. Um, the game is based around four kind of like um, stats, uh, which are iron, hearts, mirror, and veils. And as you increase in each, um, that'll um, increase your chances of passing various tests. Um, so let's choose. I don't really choose. I don't really choose ve veils and mirrors to start with. So let's go with. Let's be a street urchin, which begins with high high veils, the skill of evading and deceiving. And also go for. Let's go for. The Knotted Sock, a close-knit band that occupied a haunted rookery in the worst part of the world. Alright. <laughs> and so that'll increase my hearts. It also affiliates me with villainry. Ooh. And so these are the three possible ways of winning. Um, cash, getting enough stories, and a new one that um, wasn't in early access, which apparently is really hard. So, <laughs> so sod that. Let's go for wealth. And we're going to choose a random captain. You'll do. Um, office. Oh, I don't want to call it officer. Archivist. Archivist. Olds. Uh, oldster. <laughs> For some reason, there are no young archivists. So that's me. Oldster, the urchin. I doesn't seem right somehow. But I start with ten iron, seventeen hearts, ten mirror, and twenty-five veils. So I'm going to be very veilsy by the looks of it. Da, 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 da. So now time is passing in the plot. Seven years later, oh, pff, three weeks, this morning Captain Whitlock received a simple memorial service. Her body was consigned to an Acropolis train bound for the Serene Mausoleum in Albion, I believe. The captain was wealthy once, but squandered her capital on mysterious expenses before her expedition to the Blue Kingdom. 
Right, so let's listen to the will. Uh, Captain Whitlock confirmed that position of the Orphean was, was to pass to its first officer. Yay! That's me. Good. Right, so that includes a certain black box contained in the Orphean's hold. Captain Whitlock's final request was that, at a time of your choosing, you transport said box to an address in London and deposit it there. You are not to look inside. All right, so I've got a big black box. I've got 100 quid, and everything is wonderful. You could you could take the box to London, or you could sell it. Well, fine. So there is uh, a lot to do. Some of it is a bit tutorial-y, so we'll only do the important stuff. But for now, let's actually recruit a new driver. Um... It's going to be an officer, which we can assign to a, to a chief engineer slot, which will give me extra stats. Six iron and two hearts. So let's do that. That should cost 20 quid, I think. Yes, 20 quid. The driver board's eager to get started. I recently parted ways with the Windward Company. Personally, I think a crash a week isn't so bad. They disagreed. Oh well, live and learn. So we should also follow up this opportunity with a fastidious inspector. I'm hoping to book passage to Port Prosper, she says, slipping the watch away. I can, of course, pay. We'll do that. Uh, here's an initial, here is an initial sum to seal our bargain. Prosper, Port Prosper, um, lies to the east of New Winchester. Right, so that's not always going to be the same. That's in different games, that'll be a different location. And also it does explain that in space, north, south, east and west makes no sense. But just go with it, basically. So basically we just have to like him. We'll earn some money by doing that, I think. I think it's the case. So why not? She's not taking up any real space, I don't think. Uh, right, so there's a little bit of a, a tutorial um, about trading. So I won't... I'll just kind of like him um, just skip through this quite quickly. Because what we really want to do is introduce myself to the season captains. I don't. In fact, I, don't even, I think this might be optional. It's worth reading, but I, um, for the tutorial stuff, it's... I think this is optional, because what we really want... Ooh, what's this? No, <laughs> that's just... That's not, that's not really that relevant. And what we need to go, do is go to the bazaar. Because if we do this, we can pick up a prospect, uh, which is uh, w one way of making money. Uh, because if you find ways of buying certain goods cheap and then selling them somewhere else for expensive, then that's all good. I mean, you can do buying and selling anyway, but bargains and prospects really do, I like, can ramp that up and make big, fat profits. So in this case, if we get seeds, um, if we get seeds from, I think it was, oh, she's, oh, I can't remember what he said now. Oh, it's Port Avon. If you get seeds from Port Avon, and then sell them to Magdalens in the northeast, then that would be good. So let's claim that. And also, some, this is this is a random one, because um, th that one is the same in every game, but this one's a random one. So, literature to Palmyre and Plenty. Um, and the in inconceivable circus lies to the southwest of New Winchester. You can write this down on a piece of pen on a on a piece of paper, like I do sometimes, <laughs> or you could consult the journal, which will help you out as well. So let's claim that as well. And I think all we need to do now, really, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to spend money buying extra parts for my ship. All I need to do now is buy, I think, buy a couple of those, um, which is 60 quid. Still got 105 left, just so we've got a few more supplies, which are, like, this is, f down here, this is fuel, this is supplies, this is hull strength, this is your hold, and we've filled up 8 out of 12 spaces, and this is how much regular random crew you've got. Those aren't that important, those crew members. Uh, these ones are, though. This is the chief engineer. This is the incautious driver. Um, I've actually got to make sure that I tick that, otherwise he won't actually become the chief engineer. Well, so that's pretty much all we can do in New Winchester for the moment. Um, I did have to go back and just double-check where Port Avon was, where we can buy some seeds. Um, that's in the west-northwest. So let's have a look. West... Northwest will be kind of like over here-ish. Um, so Magdalene's in the northeast, so that'll be over here, and Palmyre and Plenty's Inconceivable Circus, that'll be somewhere down there. So let's go to Port Avon first, because we may as well, and uh, then we can actually get those bloody seeds on the go. Right, so let's see what's out there. So there's also a terror bar in the bottom left. Um, nightmares, untroubled. 
Um, if um, you ha if you turn your light off, oh, well, that's L. Your terror will go up quicker. But I think you'll be undetected. Um, so it's best to keep it on the whole time, as I've found. Also, if you if you if you go into certain more terrifying regions where things are a bit odd and awful, your terror will also increase. Um, the reach it doesn't seem to happen too much in the reach, but there are places like in um, Albion where it's all a bit. Bleh. God, there's walls everywhere. They never used to be. When this um, when this region first launched, it was very empty indeed. Now it's in all sorts of beautiful. Right, so let's use our diffident bat to locate as some nearby stuff. Oh, it's found something. Oh, it's oh yes. Um, there are um, there are some uh, platforms over here where you can learn how to turn in your port port reports. Um, but yeah, we don't need to worry about that until we've actually found some ports, really. So we are going to the west northwest. So I reckon we're going to be looking around here. We have to send the bat out again, but I don't really want to waste too many supplies doing that. I think we could just have a bit of a look around. What's all that? Mm, all that flickery stuff. This is actually looking like it might be a new smell um, behind the coal and the oil. The green, unlikely scent of apples. Oh, hello. The stopped clock. The fastidious inspector approaches you in the galley. Good day! I noted your ship's clock has stopped. Perhaps you'll permit me to repair it. Alright. She gives a grateful flicker of a smile and sets to work. Soon she has the back of the clock and has spread tiny cogs across the galley table. I appreciate the opportunity to keep myself busy. Staying too long at the stars is harmful to the temperament. What are the duties of an agent of the horological office? It is of fundamental importance that 10 o'clock on the 2nd of June is in one corner of the Empire occurs at the same time as 10 o'clock on the 2nd of June in the opposite corner. How is an Empire to function if it can't agree what day it is? Unfortunately, the process is complicated by the fact that time is less reliable than it was. The hours trade is seen to that. So there's a lot of law you can learn here, and we'll skip past it, um, just because it's um, op you know, purely optional. Um, I paid her a compliment. Thank you, she says. A small, embarrassed silence. It's possible the inspector is pleased. It's rather hard to tell. All right. I shall make a cup of tea. Good. Right. Oh, in fact, here we are. Look, it's literally the platform right there. So this will be Port Avon. Let's dock. Behold, the ruin of giants, gargantuan blocks. Jigsaw together, furred with moss and whispering with orchards. A bucolic village nestles amongst them. Smoke coils daintily from the chimneys. A legendary game of cricket unfolds in the village green. An oily-faced, black-haired girl waves your locomotive into position. Welcome to Port Avon, she calls, as you disembark. Right, so there's a bit of a mechanism here where you do wear out your welcome as you perform actions. First of all, let's uh, write a port report which will get us hopefully 100 quid further on down the line once we go back to uh, New Winchester. Now, we're, not for talk of, we're not for talk of smugglers and sky beasts. You can easily confuse this place for a village and the world you left behind. It's quite peaceful here, apart from some fuss over newspaper delivery. The villagers frown and change the subject when you ask about it. Now, there's not really much else I can do because these are all greyed out. and These are things I can only do if I have certain things. I say greyed out, I mean redded out. Um, so I, I don't have any gossip, and I don't have any tea either. So perhaps not for this bit. Oh, recruit a, a repentant devil. He's looking for passage! This will be another officer, I think. This will cost a hundred quid. I've just got a hundred quid. Uh, it, might be, it might be unwise doing that, because we do need to buy some seeds. So unfortunately, mate, not now. Uh, we could explore Port Avon, but for now let's make sure that we do get the stuff that we need. Uh, so that's them. Every port, um, other than the main one, New Winchester, sells one special thing. And in this case, it's um, it's souls, and they cost seventy quid each. In this case, so if I wanted, if I definitely wanted to buy some souls, I could, I could rely on coming here and getting it. Um, occasionally, though, you might find bargains at the bazaar, um, where you might fi you might find absolutely anything. And they renew every 30 days. In this case, it is exactly how, um, what was foretold. And that's, we've got the seeds. And we need three of them. Only 10 quid each. So now I'm down to 75 quid, which means I can't hire Matey Boy. 
But it does mean it unlocks when you have seasoning. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Right, so now I'll be able to go to Magdalene in the northeast um, to um, sell that and make a decent profit. Uh, it's very much like a tutorial um, prospect, this. But it'll give you some cash, get you where you need to go. Right, there's a bit more story here um, we can investigate. Let's look at the village green. The heart of the village, surrounded by orchards of real apple trees. Now, I think this... Um, take a relaxing stroll around the village, watch a cricket match. I believe this kind of like just um, reduces your terror, um, but it will wear out our welcome, so we won't worry about that too much. We can go to the pub. Re um, yeah, actions actions here will um, wear out your welcome. Um, read a work of speculative fiction. In the nook by the fireplace is a shelf of magazines. Each contains a story by the local author, the turbulent fabulist. All right. I think we've got three welcomes, so that'll spend one of them. So, the fabulous work has been accepted in a number of publications, including Murgatroyd's Miscellany, Hearth and Heaven, and The Seasonal. He is prodigious. Um, which story catches your eye? Bones in the well, the vacant throne, or a corpse at the window. Ooh. Uh, being a sinister tale of familial duty, an intimate horror. Uh, Amelia, Amelia looks through the glass. Her sister has returned. In one hand she held a necklace of muddy diamonds dug from a doyen's grave. From the other dangled a corpse of a doe. Around Catherine's stretched throat, Amelia could still see the rope marks, white and neat as a vicar's collar. So, that, all that's done is giving me a tale of terror, but that's good, because that could be useful for something. Or uh, not. Recruit a likely lass or lad. Oh, we can actually get refill our, ca um, our crew, because we've only got 8 out of 10. Um, that will... Uh, we've only got a 45% chance of success. Our hearts aren't very high at the moment. Appreciate an amount of cider. I could test that against my, va uh, my iron, uh, which only gives me 27% chance of success. Neither of which, particularly, um, yeah... Interest me. Oh, sp oh, I can speak to a short-sighted um, cryptozoologist. All uh, right, this is good. I think I'll I'll talk to her because then I can t I can take her somewhere. I seem to remember. A tiny figure weighed down by two backpacks and a heavy duffel coat looks through thick glasses at her map and then up at you. Excuse me, I need passage. I don't suppose you can help me out. Where do you need to go? Eyebrows. <laughs> um, she beams. She leaned in. She leans in conspiratorially, knocking over every glass on the table. Uh, they say there's a colony of singing blemigans there. You know, the huge little mushrooms with teeth. All right. Uh, the short-sighted cryptozoologist almost boarded someone else's locomotive. A kindly stoker guided her the right way and onto yours. Oh, that's been rewritten. Um, since it's early access. That was ever so slightly different last and previously. I remember that. <laughs> so, it, 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 yeah, it was actually funnier last time as well. But I think I think they've cleared cleared it up because it was a bit confusing last time. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, you don't want to know that. Uh, there are other stuff we can do, but let's actually move on. And we can. I mean, the whole point of these places is you, you you're supposed to come back to them later and do stuff as you gather more stuff and um, um, things. These ruins, though, can. Um, conduct a nocturnal um, excavation. Hmm. Forty-two percent chance. Let's see, this is a oh hello, seventy-five percent chance. A lot of these you need to actually get your veils and hearts and things up before you actually really do things. Otherwise, you um, you get bad consequences. So again, enjoying the picturesque surroundings would be okay, but I'll be able to do that. But I think it, I think it's going to be a bit point. Well, we'll do it anyway. It's not going to cost as much. Oh piss. <laughs> Uh, ignore that. Uh, milky mil um, a milky mist bellows across the sky. The uh, stones pour cold shadows um, over you. They loom like stooping giants. You are so tiny, so fleeting, so easily squashed. Uh, you've gained another tale of terror. Mm. Anywho. Right, is there anything else we need to just buy? Uh, uh, we've got plenty of... I think we've got fuel and stuff to get over to Magdalene's. So let's do that. It is worth pointing out, you don't need to do uh, the same order as what I'm doing. You don't need to go to Port Avon and then Magdalene's. It's good because the prospect you've got a prospect and it'll um, ease you into the game. But there's literally no nothing stopping you just like randomly exploring. Oh, hello. Hang on. I completely missed this. I can level up. Uh, choose a facet. Grow stronger. And now we can actually increase what we want. 
I mean, I could do mirrors. But let's concentrate on actually, let's try to get our veils up. A spell in prison. Uh, also, maybe we'll also get a heart and our iron up as well. Or one of the two. The judge, stony faced, can. This judge, stony faced, condemned you to New Newgate, the stalactite prison of old London. Its dark was thick as tar, its cells were small as pantries. How did you spend your days there? Well, either quietly, in which case I'll get extra hearts, or violently, in which case I'll get extra irons. Let's go for irons. And that's basically XP for the lads. That little white bar there is XP. So, no, really. Anyway, actually, let's start moving. So this time we'll, if we go to the northeast to try and find a new port, let's let's just do a, a nice, um, nice little ramble over here somewhere. Uh, we haven't really seen many other ships around, but there will be other ships. Um, and in this location, um, you'll discover that there are two kinds. Well, there's, there's actually three kinds of ships. Um, one of them is uh, the tackety ships, which are like the um, the rebels against I think it's against London rule. Uh, one of them is like the um, the more sort of like traditionalists. Uh, the third one is just bandits. They're red red bandits who will just attack you. At the moment, I won't incur the wrath of the first two, but you can actually sway things in w one direction or the other. This close to the mother of mountains, the sky grows cold. Your crew on coats and gloves. Oh, hello. It's going to be snowing. It is going to be snowing in London for real this, this week, in the real world. Well, it'll probably just be sleet. The sort of thing that just gets into your shoes, rather than... You can throw snowballs at policemen's hats and things. Why is this the Beano? Again, no shout out to the backgrounds. Really kind of ver um, vertigo inducing these days. Right, where are we? Actually, we have, we've gone quite far north, so let's make sure that we stick to the east. Um, as well as other ships that you might meet in the skies, you could also um, meet weird creatures. Oh, hello. That looks like a, a ship. Uh, the further you get out, from the middle, the weirder they get. You can find some right weird screeching banshee types if you look hard enough. I'm intrigued, where's this going? Oh, it's, there he is. I, mean, I think he's really motoring away. Oh, there's another lad there. And the most intriguing thing, there's, um, when I talked about the Tacketers and the, um, the, uh, the Empire guys, uh, they fight. They do actually fight each other, um, even if you're nothing to do with it. I'm not sure what's going on. They may actually be going to have a bit of a barney. I wasn't quite sure which sides they're on. Let's get our bat sorted. That's not actually... Oh! I'm being chased. But I don't think it's um, dangerously so. Oh! That's really close. But that won't... It might be... I mean, that's sort of northeast, but it's probably, it's probably more north-northeast. Let's have a look. Those question marks may mean anything. Oh, it might just be some... Oh, some trove. That'll do. Fuel. Excellent. I'll take that. Considering that's reasonably expensive. Well, reasonably. Like 20 quid, I think. But I want to make the money. Right, so let's go down here. This is fine. This is fine. We, we, we will hopefully ed, end up at Magdalene's reasonably soon. Oh, blimey, this is... Um... Oh! What the hell? It's a dead end. This is... Less than ideal. We're gonna get lost. Right, so there's something down there. Now, I'm unfortunately, I have to go round somewhere. There's gonna be a bit of a. I don't know how big this bit of this landmass is. We're going back into the icy bit. Let's shoot that. Ha! <laughs> Take that, you stupid rock. Well, I'm just going back the way. I no, I'm not. No. Oh, it's all chilly. This close to the... Oh, this is, this is the same as before, isn't it? I wonder if there's any... Um, hmm. No. Yeah. I don't think there's any port space around that. It looks like there's um, old decaying trees. So if you want to go to one of the other regions in the game, you have to find relay stations. Uh, and one of them will be um, at the very edge and the game does sort of like guide you into going to that quite early on, if it's still the same as the early access version. Uh, but you will need particular materials to get through the gate, so it's, it's not like a free trip. So it's the sort of thing that we, you you will put off to not put off away from the start of the game. 
You'd have to do... Oh, bloody hell, it's getting all brown and foggy now, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, during early access, it was actually quite cheap to go through the relay, but apparently they may have, they may have beefed up the requirements for the 1.0 release, and I don't know what they are. Yet. We're actually still very close to New Winchester now. This has been a right prick. It's, it's, um, it's a lot more maze-like than I am, than sometimes it is. Let's go around here. Sometimes the game doesn't feel that dangerous. I was actually quite surprised, because I've been playing around with this quite a lot recently. Um, and there are stretches where um, you don't feel at risk at all. However, what I did notice is, um, for, uh, for the 1.0 release, that they've actually added um, a bit more difficulty tweaking that you can do. Um, oh, where? A folly. Ooh. So you can make things attack a bit more aggressively, or even less aggressively than normal. And stuff like that. It's supposed to be in the left. Oh dear, I'm down. I've just, yeah, I'm down to two supplies now. Oh, I found another grave. It's not ideal. Oh, so it's this sort of grave. That's fine. It's another ship. A wreck. A wreck leaves with frost. Its windows are dark, its engines silent. Perhaps something of value lies within. 60% chance. Yeah, that's because yeah, yeah. Because normally, I, normally I don't power up my veils very quickly, so I don't usually get a good chance with these. Now, oh, poopy. As you climb through the hole, your lamps reveal uncanny marks around it. Were they caused by ricocheting shrapnel, shrapnel, or by vast teeth? Your boarding party searches unsurprisingly hurried. They retrieve only handfuls of valuables before the hull's groans encourage them to return to your vessel. Not all of them make it. Oh, so that's bumped up my terror quite a lot. Got 52 quid, a tale of terror, and I've lost a crew member. So, stuff. Still haven't found Magdalene's, but I reckon it's going to be vaguely somewhere around here, isn't it? I have, that's very possibly it. It is a it is a state a proper ass station, which is bodes incredibly well for Magdalens. Where else is that Magdalens? A willow. Oh, some marauder! Right, that's a prick. It's got a very slow turning circle. So, are we going to be fighting up against a wind now? I think I might go round here before we I turn round. It is worth fighting. Oh, wow, wow, the wind! Oh, the wind! Oh, the peacock wind! Perkins cops. Right, come on. Fighting in this is basically a matter of um, strafing, really. At the right moment. Oh! Oh, shit! It's okay. I did actually overheat. Oh! Didn't quite strafe in time. Oh, f I didn't even notice that one. Bollocks. Oh, I can't strafe! Ah! That completely buggers up there. Also, I just almost reversed into Magdalene's. Oh, I just, yeah, I just, I forgot, I, I completely forgot about the overheating mechanism there. I just actually set off my thing as well. Um, right, so yeah, to the victor of the spoils. Oh, we've actually got, there's actually a mate on there. See this before, Captain, says a crew member, grasping your arm. Sky madness! Magdalene's can treat it, if you can be bothered to take the poor sod. Magdalene's is literally there! <laughs> if you can be bothered. Alright. This will begin a short quest. The, the crew wrap the sky and captains in blankets and secure themselves tightly with belts. It takes four to transport him safely to your locomotive, but it should keep him from harm until you get him to Magdalene's. Magdalene's lies to the northeast of New Winchester. Again, it's right there. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're escorting someone to Magdalene's. Tale of terror. Fine. Also, loot the hold, or actually let them strip the, the engine for materials, because hull. There we go. You've gained eight new hull. Oh, hello. <laughs> You're back. Oh, Mr. Question Mark. Also, got something worth possibly retrieving. Let's actually pop down there before we go to Magdalene's. This m oh, yep, yeah, it's some treasure. Let's do a sweet donut. Oh no, it's that sometimes happens. Oh wow. It's a, it's a chargey poos. I'm just going to run to Magdalene's. Ok. 
careful. Yeah. Clunk. Oh, <laughs> sorry, mate. Hi. The house of small comforts. Magdalene's. It offers services to alleviate the strain of a life spent too close to the stars. Basically, it's a bang house. Uh, the glass spire of Magdalene's pierce the clouds like swords. The stained glass clock tower presides over the cluster of buildings as the mother superior would over her wayward charges. Ah. Oh, actually, I could speak with the attendant. Oh, actually, let's write the port report first. Uh, it's a buzz with activity. Barely is the clock chime, then a clamour goes up at the front desk. Guests rushing to and from appointments. Lord someone was seen in conversation with the amenable host. The east wing was closed for general access all day. Uh, a certain distinguished admiral was seen with his second-in-command entering one of the chambers of regret. Oh, blimey. Everything's going on here. You are having a good old bang. Uh, we don't need to seek treatment for your terror. We do need to deliver the Sky Madden Captain. The nurses bring a stretcher to carry the captain from your train. He'll receive the care of Magdalene's finest. So what have we got? One vision of the heavens? We can spend that on something else at some point. Unread experience. And the captain's buggered off. Right, let's speak with the attendant. Uh, I can skip past that one. Yeah, there's a, this, this sets up a whole sort of like a law thing, so we won't, we won't worry about that too much. And what we'll do is go to the bazaar and deliver our seeds. That's going to get us 240 quid. And bear in mind that they, they, they cost us, what, 10 quid a pop? From somewhere else, so that's a, a bucket load of profit. Yes. You've completed the trade prospect you learnt off from the seas and captains. Yes. Hang on, I've got 467 quid. I really got that much money. Don't remember actually getting that much. Oh, it's because it's yeah, okay, yeah. Because that was also that was all oh, 100 quid on top of the 240 quid I just earned. Ah. Also, because this is a bazaar, there's also some bargains. Um, so hours at 40 quid a pop. The captain of a battered mining locomotive is selling unrefined hours coined from the drifting sky rocks. Each is a walnut-sized geode, uh, within wh which an hour grows like salt crystals. Yeah. Well, may as well. I mean, we don't have any use for it yet. The only trouble is it will fill up our rather small hold. And we can take this back to... What we'll probably do is take this back to New Winchester and flog these. We won't get the best prize for it, but we'll get some prize for it. Um, and then... Maybe, if we earn enough money, we'll be able to expand our hold. So that'll take us down to 347 quid. Won't buy any more supplies or fuel. We don't really need it. And I think that's good for this location. Okay, so that's giving you a taste of the start of the game. But there's a, a lot more of this game. I mean, this is, this is a, almost like more of a streamer game than a Let's Play game. But I'm very much hoping to continue playing this um, as a Let's Play series. See how far... Um, we can get and see what's going on. So yeah, do let me know if you want me to continue and do um, you know, leave a comment and all that sort of stuff. Um, and yes, um, I'm, by the way, I am now heading back to New Winchester. If you're wondering, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. Um, uh, do subscribe to the channel if you're not already um, a subscriber, um, and um, all the usual things as well, um, like um, check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel. Um, all the links are in the description. Um, see you next time. Bye for now.